five. So if you leave that portion out, history becomes just as good as any other subject and uh, it's easy to learn. So uh, for the aspirants, let me tell you that you know you don't have to score 100 upon 100 uh, normally the qualifying marks is about slightly more than 50 percent and that is all you have to get the more you get the better it is but you have to understand that that one odd question in the past paper of you know those minute details is should not be uh, you know should not uh, pull you back and and you don't even have to learn that you should be able to understand most questions, maximum questions, rather than all questions. So you prepare in that way. So uh, before you start your real studies, take your history book, anything. You can take a book from class 8 onwards or something up to class 12 and just read it like you would read a novel before you actually start studying. Once you have read your book, then go through past couple of years questions um, so that you can know that what kind of questions and the methods UPSC use to ask the question, you know, the pattern. So once you have read the question, you would know the kind of questions that UPSC asks and the details that you have to actually study. See, normally um, when you study, see, I'll, I'll let you know about um, details later. See, normally um, modern, Indi modern Indian history is the most important component of the prelims portion. And so if you are just a new beginner, you would rather focus, focus on modern history than ancient and medieval portion. But once you have read modern, you should also read ancient and medieval because questions are asked from there also. So from modern Indian history, once you have uh, read the question paper, you will understand the kind of questions that are asked. Um, ancient, uh, this NCRT is the most basic and the most important question papers, though you can also consult other books if you have time. Other books, rather than books, you can uh, take a hand note of some of the good uh, teachers in Mukherjee Nagar or wherever you, whatever suits you. So history, uh, the most, uh, see, you don't have to, uh, as I told you, you don't have to learn every date, every detail, but then you should be able to kind of relate things. You, have, you, should, you should have the ability to uh, relate things see, and you don't have to try, uh, try and score 100%. See, you have to just score more than other people. So, so and to, and so once you have read the books and once you have read the question paper, then your real study starts. Use a use a highlighter and a pen to make notes in the book itself if you want. And uh, then go in a sequence manner. So if you start with modern Indian history, which would be around uh, 1757 onwards, the Battle of Palasi and everything. So read read in a sequential manner about uh, if there is a an issue there and there are multiple points to it let's say you know the causes there are multiple you know the consequences there are multiple you know the reasons of it are multiple so wherever there are multiple points in an issue that automatically becomes uh, important so you should highlight those portions you can number it also let's say what was the reason for battle of palace so there were xyz you know reasons so you can uh, mark one two three so that you can kind of relate so so you start reading that way. Then, you know, uh, there would be social you know, and religious reform movements. So the consequences, you know, the reasons that led to it. You know, these are the things which you have to really, um, you know, remember. So you, if you mark it and if you have read it just a couple of times, you don't have to actually remember the stuff, but then you would be able to recall things. You don't have to worry about exact date or, you know, things like that. But then what happened? So these are the portions that you have to uh, remember. So any topic that you are studying, you should always keep in mind three things. That is the purpose of it, the reason of it, and the consequence of it. So if any topic which is there, let's say, for example, any, any act which the government made, government, the British government in India had made. So what was the purpose of it? What was the reason of it? What were the consequences of it? If you have read it, you know, you just have to read it a couple of times. You don't even have to mug it. If you have read it, I think a mo major portion would be covered. So, you know, so if this is the way you have to go about it, you have to keep underlining, highlighting, marking, and then remember, so revision is the key. You, you know, if you have read it once or twice, that would not be enough. So once you have read, let's say you have done your studies uh, this week, so you try and revise it in a couple of days. 
revision is the key for any exam revision is the key you don't have to remember you know go through 10 books you rather go through one or two books and then but rather than go it uh, go through it 10 times rather than going through it many books so uh, revise you know highlight wherever you think is important at you know once you have gone through past couple of uh, years ka question paper you would know the way upsc asks questions and then once then when you start going through the books you would know what you know what are relevant stuff so highlight highlight and then revise so before you go for the exam you should have at least revised three or four times you know first start reading like a novel then next time slightly slow you know but then you have to highlight underline and then after after uh, you know by the time exams have come you have revised for three or four times i'm sure you're going to do well there were some of the important topics i can tell you though this is not um, you know exclusive or exhaustive there are a lot of more topics which are there i have forgotten most of it the social movements the religious reform movements they are very important the formation of the indian national congress the revolt of 1857 you know the events leading up to it and then the consequences the reasons as i told you the purpose you know then gandhi you know arrival of mahatma gandhi and then the unfolding of events after that the formation of national congress and how then they changed from moderate to extremist and you know things like that and then th how they divided then the swaraj the definition of swaraj when first it came and you know how it evolved partition of Mango bengal and the formation of muslim league you know then the governor generals what all you know in a sequenced sequential manner how you know, whatever changes they brought in whatever dif you know differences that happened from the earlier time and whatever reforms if they did any so that in a sequential matter manner is a very important portion of uh, upsc prelims then the agrarian and peasant revolts are very important the tribal revolts you know uh, people who were involved you know around you know the place uh, uh, the region where it happened what was the reason of it what you know, what were the consequences of it you know how it helped xyz you know so social religious reform movement freedom struggle tribal and peasant revolts these are very important portions and the go governor generals and then post india also you know you can go through the book uh, a lot of things happened uh, formation of nato you know uh, up to um, up to 90s up to uh, the end of cold war you can go through the book and uh, you know it will kind of help you and uh, after you have the, done with the modern indian history then you have to go through the cultural portion of uh, indian history and that basically is the indus valley civilization buddhism and jainism everything associated with buddhism and jainism is very important ashoka very important the Gupta uh, era is a very important and then when you come to the medieval era Sufism and Bhakti is very very important so for and this will also uh, cover your culture portion so Buddhism Jainism Sufism and Bhakti movement and Ashoka these are the most important portions you know every detail of it these uh, detail as in not a, not more than what you can do but you have to read it about a couple of times so these these will also cover your uh, uh, cultural portion and after you have gone through this then you read through the books then you know the south indian you know this uh, vijayanagar empire the hyderabad nizams you know the sultanate era then you know and then then you can go sequentially you can go through both ancient and medieval ncrt books uh, maybe two or three times i think that should help you with the prelims exams most important thing is don't panic you don't have to score 100 upon 100 if there was a very very difficult in the past you don't break your head because of it if there is a you know there are questions in culture which are very difficult you know maybe some you know detail about some northeast uh, dance or maybe something in south india or something like that uh, things which which is difficult for you very difficult for you maybe you can skip that if you want to if you think you can go through it well and but then first go through your modern indian history properly it's not difficult you know and it's very easy to master also and it's very scoring it will help you in prelims also and it will help you in mains also
so don't panic but the most important key remember whenever you study something whenever you study something you have read it with you know uh, with uh, in a way that will help you you know streamline it you know understand it properly the reasons the consequences the purpose of it and uh, read the social aspect the administrative aspect the economical religious and political consequences of uh, things and uh, th and uh, don't worry about dates too much if this uh, diff if you can you know it's okay if you can't and that should not be your priority so that way i'm sure you can do well in eh? UPSC prelims. Anything else? Uh, you can also uh, ask questions maybe in the link and at a later date uh, we would come out with a more detailed uh, study material and a more detailed guidance material. Thank you very much.